Hello, and welcome to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 15th. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happened on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com. There, you can download the notes page, which will help you organize the information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events changed the world around us. If you are interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happens tomorrow in history. In 1920, fire caused a loss estimated at more than $2 million and made 1,500 people homeless when, on an afternoon in Grandview, Texas, the business section and residential portion of the city were completely destroyed by fire. Three men were injured when a building collapsed, but nobody was killed. Fire departments from surrounding towns responded, but the water in the standpipes gave out and the firemen thereafter could do nothing except for watch the town burn. Automobiles, trucks, wagons, and other vehicles were pressed into service to carry the homeless people to neighboring communities. The V-shaped fire swept through the city, destroyed more than 200 of the very finest homes. The fire had destroyed virtually every business building and residence in the once beautiful city of Grandview. Mayor Williams of Grandview called the mass meeting of all citizens in the city park. A safety committee was organized to patrol the fire-stricken section and save property. The wind was blowing at such a velocity that embers from the inferno were carried for miles. In fact, a farmhouse three miles away from Grandview caught fire and was destroyed. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson sent thousands of American soldiers into Mexico hoping to capture Pancho Villa, the Mexican revolutionary. Pancho Villa had led an army of about 1,500 guerrillas across the Mexican-American border to stage a brutal raid against the small American town of Columbus, New Mexico. Villa and his men killed 19 people and left the town in flames. Now determined to destroy the rebel he had once supported, President Woodrow Wilson ordered General John Pershing to lead 6,000 American troops into Mexico and capture Villa. For nearly two years, Pershing and his soldiers chased the elusive Villa on horseback, in automobiles, and with airplanes. The American troops had several bloody skirmishes with the rebels, but Pershing was never able to find and engage Villa. Pershing returned home in early 1917 and left three months later for Europe as the head of the American Expeditionary Force of World War I. Though Pershing never captured Villa, his efforts did convince Villa never again to attack American citizens or territory. In 2006, a group of inspectors from the New York City Department of Transportation were on their usual rounds of bridge and tunnel inspections. The rounds were usual except for one discovery. Somewhere deep in the Manhattan anchorage of the Brooklyn Bridge, they stumbled into a hidden room filled with blankets, water, shock prevention drug, and 350,000 crackers. Judging from the dates stamped on the supplies, 1957 and 1962, what they discovered seemed to be a Cold War era bunker or fallout shelter. Emergency survival shelters weren't unusual back then. You can still see thousands of old fallout shelter signs and logos on buildings throughout the city. But one inside the Brooklyn Bridge? That no one knew about. That's a different story. The inventory of the bunker's cash followed a typical shopping list for emergency preparedness during the arms race of the 1950s and 60s. Barrels of potable water, which labels say can be doubled as commodes when empty, first aid supplies and blankets, and boxes of high-calorie survival crackers, and a healthy supply of the drug Dextran, which is used to prevent and treat shock. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 15th. I thank you for listening, and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about the historical events from the past. Thank you again to the following websites for the information regarding today's topics. ThePeopleHistory.com Grandview, Texas Fires at GenDisasters.com Pancho Villa at History.com and the Brooklyn Bridge Fallout Shelter at AtlasObscura.com The music used as the background track for this podcast is Americana created by Kevin McLeod on Incompetech.com If you enjoyed the information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing as this will help keep the historical events in your feed in the morning each day. I hope you have a great day.